Hi, in this week's lesson we're going to look at the Cambridge FCE listening exam, in particular part one. So the FCE listening exam, or first certificate, has four parts to it, with 30 questions in total. Each part is heard twice, it it lasts approximately 40 minutes. Each part is a different format, varying from multiple choice, sentence completion and multiple matching. You listen to a variety of different audio, ranging from conversations, interviews, discussions, monologues, radio documentaries, news, stories and anecdotes. You'll also hear a variety of voices, styles of delivery and accents in each listening paper. This aims to reflect the international backgrounds of all of you taking the test all over the world. You should write your answer on the question paper while listening and then you're given five minutes at the end to copy your answers onto a separate sheet. The instructions for each task are written at the beginning of each question on the question paper and also heard on the recording. Each correct answer receives one point. So now let's look at listening part one in more detail. This part of the listening test is always a multiple choice question. It tests your ability to listen for gist, that is general meaning, or listen for detail, and often tests your ability to recognize the feelings, attitudes, and opinions of the speakers. You will hear eight short, unrelated extracts with either one or two people speaking of approximately 30 seconds each. There is one multiple choice question per extract, each with three options, A, B, or C. So here are some tips to help you do well in this part of the exam. One, before you listen, read the sentence which introduces the recording. You're given a short time to do this. Think about the topic and what you know about it. This will help you understand and hopefully do better. Watch out for red herrings or distractors as they are there on purpose to catch you out. Listen to the whole clip before making your decision. Just because you hear the word or phrase doesn't mean that that is the right answer. Often it's a paraphrase of one of the options. Remember that you listen to the extract twice, so use the second listening to confirm your answer. And if you really are still not sure, then have a guess. Don't leave any questions unanswered. Okay, now I have included a sample FCE listening part one test. The answers will be at the end of the test. Are you ready? So listen carefully. This is the Cambridge First Certificate in English for Schools listening test. Sample test. I'm going to give you the instructions for this test. I'll introduce each part of the test and give you time to look at the questions. At the start of each piece, you'll hear this sound. You'll hear each piece twice. Remember, while you're listening, write your answers on the question paper. You'll have five minutes at the end of the test to copy your answers onto the separate answer sheet. There will now be a pause. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Now open your question paper and look at part one. You'll hear people talking in eight different situations. For questions 1 to 8, choose the best answer, A, B or C. 1. You hear a young singer talking about his childhood. When I was a little kid, my father used to watch a lot of old movies and I sat with him and loved them too, especially the musicals. So, you see, my career was inspired by him in a way and these old movies played a big part in my life. They were the reason I wanted to learn to sing, though my dad never suggested it to me. There's no musical background in my family, 
though my mother could sing, but she didn't have much ability, really. It was just fun for her. I think my parents must have looked at me and thought, where did that come from? When I was a little kid, my father used to watch a lot of old movies and I sat with him and loved them too, especially the musicals. So, you see, my career was inspired by him in a way and these old movies played a big part in my life. They were the reason I wanted to learn to sing, though my dad never suggested it to me. There's no musical background in my family, though my mother could sing, but she didn't have much ability really. It was just fun for her. I think my parents must have looked at me and thought, where did that come from? 2. You overhear a girl talking on the phone about a clothes shop. Well, I think that new clothes store called Smart Girls is certainly a place where you can be sure of picking up a bargain or two, though most of the shops in the mall have them at the moment. The assistants are friendly and they really know about fashion instead of just pretending to be cool. They're honest too and don't just tell you that you look great all the time. I like the music they play because it sort of puts you in the mood as soon as you walk in, though I don't think it's your thing. You might prefer somewhere a bit quieter. Well, I think that new clothes store called Smart Girls is certainly a place where you can be sure of picking up a bargain or two, though most of the shops in the mall have them at the moment. The assistants are friendly and they really know about fashion instead of just pretending to be cool. They're honest too, and don't just tell you that you look great all the time. I like the music they play because it sort of puts you in the mood as soon as you walk in, though I don't think it's your thing. You might prefer somewhere a bit quieter. 3. You hear part of an interview with a farmer. So, Josh, for our teenage listeners who live in towns and cities, Tell us about what it's like living on a farm. Well, actually, you can come along and experience it for yourself this weekend. There's going to be something called an open farm day. More than 450 farms all over the country will be open to the public. And you can go along and meet the animals, ride on a tractor, learn about cheese making and wool spinning, all that sort of thing. Who knows? It might even persuade a few to think about farming as a career. It's not an easy life. But it's a good one. So, Josh, for our teenage listeners who live in towns and cities, tell us about what it's like living on a farm. Well, actually, you can come along and experience it for yourself this weekend. There's going to be something called an open farm day. More than 450 farms all over the country will be open to the public. And you can go along and meet the animals, ride on a tractor, learn about cheese making and wool spinning, all that sort of thing. Who knows? It might even persuade a few to think about farming as a career. It's not an easy life, but it's a good one. 4. You hear two friends talking about a school concert. Hi, Judy. Are you ready for the school concert tomorrow? I've been practising all week, so I think it'll be OK. There are a few tricky bits in that new piece of music we'll be playing. I'm getting my head round it, though. My clarinet was making a funny noise, but I've got it sorted now. That could have been embarrassing. I'm a bit worried about my solo part, especially with all those people watching. Imagine how awful it would be to make a mistake with your mum and dad there. I'm not so bothered about strangers, though. Just stay cool. If you mess up, just keep going like nothing's happened. Hi, Judy. Are you ready for the school concert tomorrow? I've been practising all week, so I think it'll be OK. There are a few tricky bits in that new piece of music we'll be playing. I'm getting my head round it, though. My clarinet was making a funny noise, but I've got it sorted now. That could have been embarrassing. I'm a bit worried about my solo part especially with all those people watching. Imagine how awful it would be to make a mistake with your mum and dad there. I'm not so bothered about strangers, though. Just stay cool. If you mess up, just keep going like nothing's happened. 5. You hear a news report about a football club. 
Fast food is off the menu for everyone at Park Town Rangers Football Club. The new manager of the club has coached in many countries around the world and has picked up some ideas from his travels in Europe and Asia. He has banned the players from eating meat when they are preparing for important games. He thinks this will strengthen their physical condition and improve the team's results, a view shared by our medical experts in the studio today. Now the club have decided to go a step further and have stopped selling burgers in the stadium, a move which may not be popular with all the young fans. Fast food is off the menu for everyone at Park Town Rangers Football Club. The new manager of the club has coached in many countries around the world and has picked up some ideas from his travels in Europe and Asia. He has banned the players from eating meat when they are preparing for important games. He thinks this will strengthen their physical condition and improve the team's results, a view shared by our medical experts in the studio today. Now the club have decided to go a step further and have stopped selling burgers in the stadium, a move which may not be popular with all the young fans. 6. You hear two friends talking about a newspaper for teenagers. I read this great newspaper the other day. A newspaper? Isn't it full of dull stuff? It's aimed at our age group, actually, so it presents the news in a way that's easy to understand. So it's a good way to find out what's going on in the world. It's interactive, too. Really? Yeah. You can write reports for it, and they include the best ones in the paper. Cool, huh? If you like writing, I suppose. Not a talent of mine. <laughs> so you don't bother with the news, then? Oh, I wouldn't say that. I do follow it, just as long as it doesn't seem too much like schoolwork. I read this great newspaper the other day. A newspaper? Isn't it full of dull stuff? It's aimed at our age group, actually, so it presents the news in a way that's easy to understand. So it's a good way to find out what's going on in the world. It's interactive, too. Really? Yeah. You can write reports for it, and they include the best ones in the paper. Cool, huh? If you like writing, I suppose. Not a talent of mine. <laughs> so you don't bother with the news, then? Oh, I wouldn't say that. I do follow it, just as long as it doesn't seem too much like schoolwork. 7. You hear a boy telling a friend about climbing a mountain with his father. How often do you go mountain climbing? My dad and I go climbing together a lot, which is really cool because I get plenty of time to talk with him. I remember the last mountain we climbed together, he was telling me about how you can only really enjoy the wonderful scenery once you get to the top because when you're just halfway up, you're concentrating on the climb. I was really sore, and I just wanted to quit, but I carried on to the top so I could admire the beautiful view. But my legs were aching so much I couldn't appreciate it fully, or my dad's wise words. How often do you go mountain climbing? My dad and I go climbing together a lot, which is really cool because I get plenty of time to talk with him. I remember the last mountain we climbed together, he was telling me about how you can only really enjoy the wonderful scenery once you get to the top, because when you're just halfway up, you're concentrating on the climb. I was really sore, and I just wanted to quit, but I carried on to the top so I could admire the beautiful view, but my legs were aching so much I couldn't appreciate it fully, or my dad's wise words. 8. You hear a teacher talking about an environmental project. Right, everyone. I'm sure you'll agree it was great fun enhancing our school grounds with the butterfly garden, and I hope you all got something out of it and are more aware of your natural environment now. What you've achieved is much appreciated, and the project will continue, so I'd like you to keep thinking about things we can do to maintain the garden. The idea is to keep it going for future students at the school, so all suggestions are welcome. I think you'll all agree it's been a great success, which I hope we can repeat in the future. 
right, everyone. I'm sure you'll agree it was great fun enhancing our school grounds with the butterfly garden, and I hope you all got something out of it and are more aware of your natural environment now. What you've achieved is much appreciated, and the project will continue, so I'd like you to keep thinking about things we can do to maintain the garden. The idea is to keep it going for future students at the school, so all suggestions are welcome. I think you'll all agree it's been a great success, which I hope we can repeat in the future. That is the end of part one. OK, so let's see, how did you do? The answers are 1, B, 2, A, 3, C, 4, B, 5, C, 6, C, 7, B and 8, A. I hope you did well. A link to the transcript, transcript can be found down below for you to download and listen again. And remember to keep listening as much as possible to English to improve your understanding and therefore your score. So that's it for now. Remember to like this video if you found it useful, share it with your friends and colleagues learning English and subscribe to my channel clicking the link down below now so as not to miss out on any new English language videos. Bye bye and thank you for watching.